Hello friends, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. So friends, this video is about thread life cycle. So thread life cycle is about thread life cycle. So here is the picture of the picture. I explain the thread life cycle. So this thread life cycle is the main thing. Five stages. One is the new state, runnable state, running state, waiting state and dead state. So what is the first thing? The first thread is the new state. The thread is the new state. Now I will explain the theoretical. The first thing is the new state. Whenever we create a thread class object using a new operator, then that state is nothing but a new state. So thread t equal to new thread. ये पूरा होते हैं मानो न्यू ऑपरेटर यूज़ जैसी थ्रेड क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट जाता हो दान ही मानो न्यू स्टेट आंटों नेक्स्ट एंड नेट रनबुल स्टेट व्हेन अवर उर काले स्टार्ट में इधर आने थ्रेड ऑब्जेक्ट द स्टेट ऑफ़ द थ्रेड इज़ चेंजिंग फ्रॉम न्यू स्टेट टू रनबुल स्टेट बट द थ्रेड शेड्यूलर � Next state is the running state. Whenever the thread scheduler selects the thread and allocates CPU to the currently executing thread, then the state is changed from runnable to running state. CPU starts executing thread. So, whenever the thread scheduler selects the thread to allocate CPU, when the CPU is the thread to allocate the thread, then the thread state is the running state. CPU is the running state. Execute data and start just next to waiting state when we call the wait or sleep or suspend method on currently executing thread then thread is going to waiting state from runnable state to runnable state and end and day so you put out the mano thread that sleep gani let the suspend gani like a wait method call just now put a thread class object me that thread done is in that day runnable state when she waiting state look out a change out none matter so, again the waiting thread will be come to the runnable state from waiting state by other thread calling the notify, notify all methods. So, if you want to call the sleep method, wait method, suspend method, call the running thread in the waiting state. Waiting state in the runnable state, notify, notify all methods, use the runnable state. Next state is the dead state. When the thread finishes execution, then the thread is state is changed to dead state. That means it is not allowed. The running method exit from the its execution. So, ये पूरा होते thread execution ने तो complete होते हैं. आप पढ़े ना इंटे ये runnable state में जी dead state को मारते हैं. That means it is not allowed. So, आप पढ़े ना इंटे thread state ने ना इंटे allowed state लो होते हैं. उन्नत धन मारते हैं. इंटे dead state लो करते हैं. दर the run method exit from its execution. So run method is the execution from the terminal type of the exit type of the. So that is the dead state. So friends, this is the thread life cycle. So new state, runnable state, running state, waiting state. Waiting state type in the run runnable state, running state, dead state. So friends, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.